A tumultuous meeting exposes a yawning chasm between Roland, Frederica, and Benedict's visions for the future. Yet only one will emerge victorious, for such is the custom of House Wolford. As ever, the scales of conviction have the final word. The time has come for judgments to be rendered and leaders to steel themselves for the outcome. We've chosen our path. We are to free the Roselle being held in Hyzant's source. You have chosen the one path I cannot take. I understand your disappointment, Benedict, but the scales have spoken. And so I ask for your wisdom. Help us find a way to free the Roselle. Hyzant will destroy everything you hold dear if you attempt to free them. That way lies ruin. Your choice is to turn your back on this house, to cast aside your land and the people who have built their lives upon it. I will not, I cannot endorse such betrayal. <sighs> I agree that we will be ill-prepared to defend the Domain this way. Should that come to pass, I am prepared to flee with the Roselle and search for Centralia. They say it is home to a boundless salted sea. Surely a land where none need fight for salt is a land worth seeking. This is an opportunity, Benedict. We could find a new home instead of fighting the wars of old yet again. Why not channel that resolve to lead the people of Norzelia as their king? You hold the power and the might. You lack only the will. With the salt crystals in hand, you shall ascend the throne. I shall see to it that you are coronated. Then we can liberate the Roselle, or whatever else your heart desires. Liberate the Roselle, or whatever else? I never dreamed I would hear such callous words fall from your lips. I stand by them. I care only that you and the legacy of House Wolford are safe and secure. I shall offer my counsel by force, if needed. You don't mean to fight the lad. Stand down, Benedict. No, Anna. This is a challenge that I must accept. I beg you to reconsider. If you mean to proceed with this folly, then you will do so over my dead body. You can do so much more, Lord Serenoa. The salt crystals give you the upper hand. Esfrost and Hyzant would bend the knee to you. You could unite all Norzelia under your rule. You were right about me, Benedict. I lack the will. I have no desire to rule Norzelia. I wish to see an oppressed people set free and nothing more. At what cost? Would you see your loyal subjects conquered by another nation? I would forfeit my lordship. The people of Wolfort will endure without me. The Roselle have no such champion for their cause. We are the only ones who can set them free. 
Give me the order, and I shall reduce Hyzant to rubble. Then they shall be free. The ensuing battle will only breed further resentment, or worse, displace others who will be treated like the Roselle. War cannot solve every problem, and our liberation of the Roselle shall prove as much. So, you now take blind counsel from your betrothed to think that an arranged marriage will lead to this folly. Enough! I came to this conclusion of my own free will. I have seen the challenges that face Norzelia, and this is how I choose to respond. You are every inch Lady Destra's child. Your compassion steers you headlong into every conflict. Alas, compassion is easily trampled. It can only exist so long as it has an army at its back. My patience grows thin, Lord Serenoa. The Salt Crystals give you the power to bring peace to Norzelia. You're wrong! It is little more than the catalyst for another protracted war. A war we can win. Let me lead you to victory. There is always a war to be won. Do you not see the cycle at work? I will break that cycle and use my power to liberate the oppressed. You talk of fleeing from your duty, of pure fantasy. We need you, Benedict. Why can you not put our differences aside? This is absurd. You race toward your own destruction, and I will not be party to it. Lord Simon entrusted me with the future of this house. I swore an oath to Lady Destra that I would protect you no matter what the cost. You are shackled to the past, Benedict. I would call it loyalty. And it has come to this. For the sake of our future, I must strike you down. Prepare yourself. Aim as you missed. You came, you missed. I yield. Grant me the mercy of a swift death. No. Neither father nor mother would stand for the killing of a loyal retainer. <sighs> the rest of us shall make our way to Hyzant in secret. You will remain here. Lead the people out of the Wolfort Domain before the Hyzantian army assaults this castle, and keep them safe. These are your orders, in exchange for sparing my life? These are not orders, and there is no exchange to be made. This is the last thing I will ever ask of you as my steward, and loyal friend of House Wolfort. And so, you follow in the footsteps of Lord Simone and Lady Destra. Leaving me behind with the most arduous tasks. I shall rise to the occasion, my lord. I shall do whatever is required to see that the Wolfort name and its people survive. Should House Wolfort lose its lord, 
I shall lead the house forward in your stead. I have no doubt you will. Benedict. <sighs> Mule-headed fool. We've each made our choices. Now we must walk the path we believe is right. Yes. King Roland, this decision means casting Glenbrook aside. I know I cannot ask you to come with me, but will you agree to see to the salt crystals? No. I am sorry, my friend, but I am not worthy to oversee such an important task. Of course you are. You have always striven to be fair and just. You hold me much too high in regard. Our conversation earlier made me realize the truth. My faith was misguided, as were my actions. I believed exacting vengeance upon Esfrost would be proof enough I was Glenbrook's rightful king. But I gave no thought to the bloody cost of revenge. This kingdom and its subjects should not have to suffer such a selfish fool upon the throne. Then, you will come with me? I shall. Not as your king, but as your friend. If I can help those in need, that is enough. Glenbrook has the geographical advantage, and the salt crystals. And there are a small handful of trustworthy nobles remaining. I'm certain they will ensure the people thrive, even without a king. Glenbrook is in too powerful a position for foreign powers to interfere. Roland. You know you aren't leaving me behind. I've come this far by your side. I'm not abandoning you now. You have my thanks, Huet. Frederica. Don't you think you ought to make your convictions clear to your companions? Well, it's common knowledge by now that I am an Esfrosti of Rosellen descent. I was a lonely child who hated that her hair was a different color from everyone else. But then I joined House Wolfort. I met Jerome and witnessed the cruelty that my fellow Roselle suffered at the Source. And I learned how brave my mother was, how long and hard she fought for her people's freedom. Compared to the horrors they went through, I have lived a life of privilege and comfort. I am proud to be a Rosellen, and proud to be a Wolford. I wish to be strong, strong like my lady mother before me. And I wish to see her dream of freeing our people fulfilled. I understand the difficulties that lie ahead, but hope that I might have you all with me. We will always be there beside you, Frederica. My lord, Hyzant's army has sent a message ahead of their forces. It says, the Grand Norzalian Mines must be conferred to the goddess as a divine offering. An offering? Sounds more like an ultimatum. Precisely. If we refuse to relinquish the mines, they'll put the Wolfort Domain to the sword. Then we've no time to waste. We must make ready to leave at once. Benedict. I leave the rest in your hands, Anna. All these years I have watched you. I may not be able to replace you, but I will do my best. Loath as I am to burden you with such responsibility, that is heartening. This ain't the Benedict I know. Come on, where's your usual glower? <laughs> you never change. Huh, I should hope not. Defending House Wolfort calls for consistency. And defend Wolfort I shall, even in your absence. I shall hold you to it. 
both of you. I'm telling you, we've got it under control. Your voice hasn't gotten any quieter. Sorry. Parting ways with a friend always gets me worked up. Thank you for seeing me off, you two. Farewell. What of the Hyzantian forces? They haven't entered the Domain yet. If we act now, we could sneak around them and reach the capital. Focused as they are on seizing the salt crystal deposits, I'd wager their domestic defenses are at a minimum. If we can get into the capital and have the Roselle and the Source take up arms, we should stand a fair chance of helping them escape. But Hyzant is wary of Serano for keeping the salt crystals from them, despite his position as one of the saintly seven. They may be short-handed, but if they spot him, we'll never make it inside. We can use the consortium cart to slip unnoticed into the capital. The wagon from Claris? Are you sure we can trust the consortium? Yes. If only because this benefits both us and him. In exchange, I told him what secrets we learned of Esfrost and Heisen. You mean you told him of Dragan's murder and the illicit salt trade? I hope he understands those secrets must never leave his lips. He understands. Once people learn of the salt crystals, Norzelia will change. And the Consortium will have a new role to serve. Now that they know, they will be better prepared to negotiate their position. They agreed to help us as a show of gratitude. You've thought this through. Well done, Anna. What of our things, Jila? Stored safely within the cart, of course. Things? What things? The explosives we found in the tunnel. After we've gotten the Roselle to rise up, we'll set sail from the harbor and make for the Folk's Domain, to the Great Falls. To make sure no one follows us, we'll blow up all the other ships in the harbor as we leave. Frederica and I devised the plan ourselves. <laughs> A perfect way to make an escape with so many people. Wise of you to make for the Falk's Domain. It's distant enough. You'll have plenty of time to hide. Aye, about as far south as you can get. No better place if your end goal is Centralia, too. It's a good plan. We shall do what we can to make sure it succeeds. <laughs> Crafty as ever, you Wolforts. I am glad to be on your side. But one problem remains. How do we get the Roselle and the Source to turn against their captors? If we can't win their trust, all of this is for naught. We need some way of persuading them. And quickly, too. Let me worry about that. I can find the words to convince them. I am my mother's daughter, after all. All right. I know you'll figure something out, Frederica. There is one more thing. Huet, I'll need to send a bird. Of course, my lady. Where to? The Rosellen village. I'd like to tell Jerome and the others of our plan. I would have them meet us at the Great Falls. Agreeing to such a thing means they will have to give up the lives they enjoy now. Do you think they will come? I cannot say. Regardless, I owe it to them to let them know Hyzant is invaded. Indeed. Let us send word and see what they have to say. Upon learning of the salt crystal deposits, Hyzant quickly musters her forces. They march upon the Wolfort Domain, intent on seizing control of the mine. Serenoa decides to take this as an opportunity to free the Roselle enslaved at the source. But that decision leads to Benedict's departure from House Wolfort. Still grappling with grief over parting ways with their friend, Serenoa and the others make for the Hyzantian capital. There, amidst a land in turmoil, they hope to help the Roselle rise up against their oppressors.
Welcome one and welcome all. Behold, you'll find no finer selection of exotic wares in all the land. Sparkling jewels, beautiful silks, and the rarest curio of them all. This automaton, it sings, it dances, it does it all. That's your cue, Decimal. Welcome one and welcome all. Welcome and welcome and welcome welcome and What's wrong with that thing? Stay away! You blasted sack of screws! I bought you to learn customers, not scare them off! I am sorry. I did not mean to lose functional control again. Useless, rusted heap of bolts. I've lost track of all the gold I've squandered on your repairs, and for what gain? But no more. I won't empty my coin purse trying to make riches out of rubbish. Ah, perfect timing! You there! How would you like an automaton to call your very own? What are you waiting for? Dance for them! Welcome one and welcome all. Welcome one and welcome all. Incredible, isn't it? Bet you've never seen its like before. Indeed, but... Then it's all yours! So long, Decimal. Be good for your new master! Wait! Fleet of foot, that one. What shall we do with it? Hmm, it wouldn't do to simply abandon it here. Perhaps it can be of some use to us. You'll look after it, won't you, Anna? If that is your wish. My name is Decimal. I hope I will serve you well, Master. Don't call me that. My name's Anna. As you command, Master Anna. to leave the city? You couldn't have told us this sooner? I've got a family to worry about. I understand I ask much of you, but a bloody battle is nigh. You must be ready to evacuate if it comes to it. But where is our Lord? Won't he protect us? Lord Serenoa marches toward an even fiercer conflict than what we face here. He left me to protect the people of Wolford in his stead. I ask that you trust in our house and do as I bid. All right then. Well, I suppose we'll start packing. Your mastery at matters of war has kept us safe this long. If you say we need to leave, that's what we'll do. You have my thanks. I've one more thing to ask of you. Something I'd like each of you to make.
Minister Exham's forces ought to be crossing into Wolfort's domain any moment now. Will it be war, or will they relinquish the salt crystal deposits without resistance? I think we have no cause for worry. Minister Saranoa is one of our saintly seven, after all. Nevertheless, we cannot be certain what he will choose. Whoever controls those salt crystals controls the future of all Marzalia. Knowing that, you truly think he would give them up without a fight? Minister Lila is right. He may very well decide to ally with Asfrost and rise up against us. I made sure Minister Exham understood he may very well be marching to war. Wolfort is a prideful house. If we apply too much pressure on them, they may hold out simply out of principle. Honestly, we are more trouble than they are worth. It almost makes me wish we could turn them and Esfrost against each other. That is something else to consider. We could even promise them the Roselle's freedom, should they triumph over the duchy. A fine proposition. The best outcome would be to have them destroy Esfrost for good. And in doing so, they'd be destroyed themselves. Surely you would not wish for such slaughter. Soft hearts have no place here, Minister Kamsel. We fight for control of all Norzelia. And we must fight to win. Our troops will need Elfric, Minister Lila. See that they have it. Of course. I'll see to any final adjustments at the Ministry of Medicine. Concealed aboard Claris's consortium cart, Serenoa and his retinue slip out of the Wolfort domain past Exham's forces and make for the Hyzantian capital. As soon as they arrive, they review the particulars of their plan to lead the Roselle in revolt. Scouts are reporting the Hyzantian army has crossed into the Wolfort domain. The force is commanded by Minister Exham, and is many times larger than what they used when we marched on the Crown City. Enough to destroy Castle Wolfort, and then some. They ain't aiming just to scare us. A foe even Benedict would be hard-pressed to prevail against. Have faith, Anna. Benedict will protect our people as he always has. I know. That said, we cannot defend the domain itself. Our land and our castle will doubtless fall to Exham's forces. Then we must act as if we have no home to return to. We cannot waver in our resolve. No. The time for doubts is long past. Listen well. After we have freed the Roselle from the source, we will set our sights on their homeland in the south, on Centralia. We will find the Endless Sea and create a land free of suffering. A far-fetched dream if ever there was one, I know. I will not blame any of you if you do not wish to come. <laughs> a bit late for second thoughts now. Aye, we're with you, my lord. Wherever you will lead us. Then it's decided. We have much to discuss about our rescue plan. Clarice, if you would. The wagon will have to pass through an inspection at the Goddess's Shield before entering the city. I can throw my consortium weight around to see you safely through the inspection, but that's about all I'm good for. That's more than enough. Thank you. Then let's muscle our way into the source. The guards won't expect an attack from the outside. Getting in is not what worries me. Indeed. The biggest obstacle we face is getting the Rozel to follow us out. They've been treated as criminals under the teachings for so long, they've come to believe they are guilty. They might be too terrified of disobeying the goddess to even agree to rise up. My mother led them in revolt 30 years ago. True, but only a small handful of people escaped. 
I know. Freeing all of them means we must be even bolder than my mother. Have you thought of how you'll convince them? I have. I... I will smash the statue of the goddess to pieces. If they see her idol destroyed, the fear shackled about their hearts will break. Without terror to hold them back, the uprising of 30 years ago will look tiny in comparison. But that statue is massive. How are you gonna reduce it to rubble? I'm going to blow it up. Ah, yes, if we use all the explosives we have, it will come crumbling down. But then we'd have none to destroy the ships that pursue us. Exactly. That's why I think we ought to use Elfric on the ships instead. Elfric? It is more powerful than the explosives. And perfect for blowing up ships. There must be some sort of a Ministry of Medicine, considering Minister Lila's involvement in its creation. Then what are we waiting for? If Lady Frederica's plan is going to succeed, we better go track some down. All right, then we have our plan. My friends, thank you. I'll handle the guards. Don't move a muscle, any of you. Don't even breathe. Hail! I am Clarus of the Consortium. I bring goods for trade in the city, if you'll give me leave to pass. Clarus! Consortium's working you hard. In these dangerous times, tis a privilege to be in such good employ. But you worked even harder than I. Here, a small token of my appreciation. <laughs> you always have been a thoughtful man. Go on, then. Wait! We cannot allow unscheduled goods into the city without inspection! <laughs> Fine. Guess there's no such thing as being too careful. <sighs> You needn't worry. Minister Kamsel of the Saintly Seven sent for these goods himself. He did? Oh, yes. Look closely and you'll see. What have you done?! Ah! You snake! I must call for reinforcements! Are you all right? My apologies. Luckily, mine was the only face they saw. I will draw off the reinforcements while you make for the Ministry of Medicine. Quickly now. And do not forget to retrieve the explosives you buried in my cargo. I'm sorry we've put you to such trouble. And we'll likely have to blow up consortium ships on top of everything else. Cause as much trouble as you wish. I know you'll repay me for it once this is all over. Hurry. The majority of their forces may be absent, but we're finished if a guard catches sight of us. To the Ministry of Medicine with us. Surprising to find researchers here. Aizant still doesn't know we're moving against them. They shouldn't think us suspicious as long as we walk at a calm pace. We can't go that slowly. Minister Kamsel is in charge of the guards, and he's no pushover. The longer we take, the more we'll lose our freedom of movement. Claris is clever, but he could still get captured. Then we'd best split up. 
Indeed. We must find the Elfric and quickly. Lord Saranoa, look at this book. What is it? Did you find it? No, only a book. The Elfric method in practice. Does this detail how it is made? Seems that way. It's littered with arcane terms I can scarcely comprehend. But if I'm grasping this correctly... The main component of Elfric is human remains. It says here, having harvested the corpses of Brozel who perished at the source... Uh. Harvesting corpses? For what foul purpose? We did not intend for Elfric to be weaponized. Our original goal was to harness its immense magical capabilities to power the automaton. Automaton? What manner of contraption is that? I do not know, but I doubt it is anything kind or good. I thought the Ministry of Medicine was supposed to, you know, figure out how to save lives, not how to profit off death. We've glimpsed the rot at Hyzant's core. Minister Saranoa, what are you doing here? Mr. Lila, did you use Rosellan remains to create Elfric? I advise taking more care with your words, Minister Saranoa. You are one of the saintly seven. You have a responsibility to protect Hyzan's secrets. Then it is true. You steal their freedom, their very lives. And you dare to call what you do healing? Everything I have done was as the Goddess willed. I call myself nothing but her loyal servant. All of us are hers to command. No, not all of us. House Wolfort means to free the Roselle from the Goddess's tyranny. Do you now? As one committed to the preservation of life, you know salt should not be a luxury for the privileged few. Is that not what you told me? Help us. If not for the Roselle, then to change Hyzant for the better. Change Hyzant? How wonderful that would be. Then... 
No. I cannot help you. The Holy One would have my head for turning traitor. Besides, my hands are far too bloody to ever be washed clean. Consider it done. These heretics spit in the face of the goddess. They deserve nothing better than utter enough. Minister Lila, how can you pretend the teachings are righteous when you know the truth? There is no turning back for me. I am Lila Viscraft, one of Hyzant's saintly seven. In the name of the goddess, I deem your life forfeit. Your orders? Though it's come to blows. Charge! Take that! We win. Choices, choices. Shall we strike? Death from above! To lead, I must grow. Let's go then. Eat dirt! We win. Sound strike.
though it's come to blows. You will pay for sinning against the goddess. Now behold my power. I will end this. Ha! Victory is with just for you. Evermore lovely. Victory is within me. Uh, yeah. The hunt is on. This ends now. <laughs> now what to do? Good night! You're open! I shall do what I can. This is what I do. That's the stuff! Ready. Allow me. With the powers in me. Lila Viscraft, you have inflicted enough cruelty upon the Roselle. Nope. What I did, I did as one of the saintly seven, blessed by the Holy One, and thus the Goddess herself. But you wanted to stop it. You knew it was wrong. The heart that beats inside your chest is still human, is it not? Silence! You have no right to speak of what is in my heart. I'll take you on! Much obliged. Looks like I'm up. Time to end this. Absolutely wonderful. I shall lead by example. You're not but a nuisance. Time to work. <laughs> Sounds strong. My turn. This is the end. Sounds strong. One more. It's for life. Guard down. Yeah. 
I will fight to my last breath. Let's play. shall prevail. I'm behind you. I can keep fighting. My growth is plain to see. Let's go then. You're done for! I'm ready to do what I must. I do only what I must. I fight for peace. Make our ideals reality. I've been waiting for this. Gotcha. This is good. I love the battle. Just for you. So this is my fate. Or is it divine retribution? I was prepared for this. Ha! Uh, sounds my right. turn. <laughs> this is the end. Uh, sounds my right. turn. Oh goddess, you have never smiled upon me. I wished to see him just once more. Minister Lila had the key to the laboratory. We found the Elfric within. Then we can destroy both the statue of the goddess and the ships that it give chase. My people suffered so this Elfric could be created. For their sake, we cannot fail. We shan't. I think even Minister Lila, in her heart of hearts, had prayed for our success. So she understood the injustice of it all and sought to aid us. What makes you think that? I imagine circumstances prevented her from acts of outright defiance. Perhaps the Saintly Seven are not so free to act according to their own principles. If that's the case, then the so-called equality under the goddess that Hyzant loved to espouse is nothing but hypocrisy. Indeed. There is nothing righteous about a faith that preaches appropriating a person's very death. Let us to the source. The goddess's oppression has gone on long enough. They haven't added more soldiers to the ramparts, meaning they haven't noticed us yet. Claris has them nice and distracted for us, but I don't think we can stay hidden for this next bit. No, the source is heavily guarded inside. 
sneaking in to quietly foment rebellion is not an option. We must defeat the guards and convince the Rizal to rise up in a very short amount of time. Before reinforcements arrive to put us down. Frederica, everything rests on your ability to sway them to our side. <sighs> My lady, you're quivering. I know what I will say, what I will do. Whether I will succeed, however, I do not know. And not knowing frightens me. I hate that I'm such a coward, when my mother was so brave. There isn't a person in the world who doesn't fear the future. Not your mother, not the Rosellen, not I. Being brave isn't about being fearless. It's about acting regardless of how terrified you are. We are here because we refuse to let fear rule us. Remember, Frederica, you are not alone. We will see this through together. I needed to hear that, Sheila. Mother, please guide us. Guide me. Saranoa, I am ready. I can do this. I know you can. Come then. The source awaits.